Hi everyone, welcome to Sue Art's channel, including painting, pastels and much, much more. Good evening everyone from the northwest of the United Kingdom. It's a lovely sunny day here, which is a change because we've had days and days of rain and there's been a lot of flooding around as you might have seen in the news. But never mind, I'm going to take the opportunity to carry on with a piece of work that I started a few days ago. It was an acrylic painting and I'm going to finish it off using pastels. I started off working with this drawing just to uh, rearrange some of the uh, objects that were in the original photograph. I'd taken this a few years ago when there was a lot of rapeseed on the fields which attracted me with their brilliant colour throwing up the trees in the middle ground. And so this was a quick sketch using water-based pastels. I added a bit of water to try and get some sort of tonal values just to get a feel for what I might attempt in my painting. So this is the acrylic painting that I'm going to work on. I spent about an hour and a half on it a couple of nights ago and uh, was quite pleased with the colour scheme but I feel a lot of it is quite flat. So I'm going to work on top with pastels to see if I can get some texture up and uh, so a little bit of the abstraction which I feel you can bring in when you're using pastels. I've also chosen the colours in pastels that I, I'm going to work from. You can see there's a, there is a range of yellows, some bluey purples, darker greens and some uh, neutral tones. I might have to dip into my big box for other colours if they're not giving, these are not giving me what I'm after. So I'm going to start off in the sky. I certainly wasn't happy with this uh, bare branch tree it's behind the middle foreground tree because it looks as if it's sprouting out of the top of that one. So I'm going to try and obliterate quite a bit of it. Maybe leave or move it to the side and see if the, if the pastel will cover enough. Looks like it is doing at the moment. So I'm having to blend it in to really try and get rid of the hood. I'm just wanting a little bit of a lighter colour to appear on the horizon. So that it's almost a glow from the rapeseed. I wasn't very happy with that acid green that uh, I got by mistake because I picked up an oil paint uh, before I knew it and put it on the ca this uh, piece of paper. So I wasn't able to remove it. So I think that using the pastels will just soften that colour and just give it the background depth that I was after. And again, in the foreground, I'm looking for some texture because we, you could just about see the individual trees in the woods in the foreground. Some of those colours I think would have gone up into the hills in the background. This was a different tree, I think they were more 
like fir trees as opposed to deciduous trees. So I'm going to carry on working and you can see what uh, I'm going to develop and I'll catch up with you later. now because I've realized that there isn't enough surface on the front of the painting here for the pastel to grip it was just floating off it seemed to be okay at the top half so I've sprayed the top half of my painting uh, with some perfect colorless fixative so here I, I am covering the surface of the bottom half of the picture with this uh, pastel ground, an acrylic primer, to give a bit of texture so that the pastels will stick uh, without just blowing off, which is what they were doing before. I'm not putting too much in the foreground here because I do like the painting that I had before. And this is a painting combination of acrylic and pastel. So everything should be dry now. I think I'm going to work first on the sky here and just see if I'm able to cover up that tree now. Ah, a bit of ground. I can feel the surface. <clears throat> Um, just have to tip it up a bit. Yes, it's going. That's, that's good. So, not a problem. Don't they got rid of the tree? Don't think it did anything to the picture. And all oh, that tree in the foreground. I will leave that for the moment. <clears throat> I now need to tackle the rapeseed here and see if this pastel ground that I've done is doing its job. Well, it seems to be sticking. That's quite nicely. So I'll carry on and catch up with you later.
I think I've gone as far as I can with this painting. Uh, one of the reasons is that I don't think the surface will take any more pastel. But I'm quite pleased with the effect I've got on the foreground. I do feel that I'm getting the, the surface texture that I was after. And I, I think that the, using the pastel on top of the acrylic has given the painting the textures and tones that just weren't present in the original acrylic painting. So now it's time for a cup of coffee and a clear up.